Nintendo really struck gold when they launched the Nintendo Switch in 2017, combining the best of Nintendo's home and portable consoles into one, and starting the trend of making full console games playable on the go. Something that Steam Deck and portable PCs has copied. If it's commuting to work, long and short travels or holidays, I usually bring my Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch Lite, and a couple of games to have something to play. And in this video I'm gonna show you all the Nintendo Switch games I bring with me when I travel. The first Nintendo Switch game that I always bring with me when I travel is Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is the perfect and relaxing holiday and travel game. You can spend as much or as little time you want and still get things done. Harvest some fruits. Down pay your mortgage to Tom Nook. Hang out with the other residents. Or do landscaping on your island. The expansion pack content Happy Home Paradise, which you can buy separately from the eShop, or you get it included if you have a Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack subscription. This expansion pack adds even more to do in the game, where you design holiday homes for clients on resort islands. I've been a huge fan of Pokemon since the first games on the Game Boy, so a game I always bring with me on my Nintendo Switch now is Pokemon Violet. Finally the fans got the open world Pokemon game that they always wanted. But the technical issues and poor performance led many, myself included, to see and feel that the game was a bit too ambitious for the aging Nintendo Switch and developer Game Freak. Despite the technical issues, the game is still packed with things to do. Challenge all the 8 gyms like in Pokemon games of the past. Battle the evil team and stop their plans. Uncover the Path of Legend and the Legendary Pokémon of Paldea. Or just travel around trying to catch all the Pokémon. or battle other people online. The game has enough to do for many hours. I do own the dual pack of both Scarlet and Violet. 
but I played Violet as my main game and just started Pokemon Scarlet, so I might switch back and forth between the two games when I travel. The games are almost identical, so I consider them the same game. The next game I always bring with me when I travel on my Nintendo Switch is Hogwarts Legacy. I just got this game on Nintendo Switch, but I have already completed the story once with Hufflepuff on PlayStation 5, so on the Nintendo Switch, it will be my second playthrough. You belong in Ravenclaw! That's why I did choose to play as a Ravenclaw student this time. The game is so full of things to do and explore. And you can get a lot done by just playing a couple of minutes. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. With long and many load times, The game is very downgraded visually, compared to the PlayStation, the Xbox and the PC, and does not run very well on Nintendo's hybrid console. And a lot of pop-in and texture loading. But the fact that you can bring the whole Hogwarts Legacy game on the go with you is worth the sacrifices. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. A Switch game that is about travel and continues to be on my Switch travel list is Super Mario Odyssey. A game about traveling the globe to save Princess Peach is the perfect travel game. Expanding on the formula set by Super Mario 64, finding all the secrets and the moons to powering up the Odyssey can take many hours. The replayability is also great because you can use Cappy to capture enemies and gain their abilities and explore new areas even after you finish the story mode. Mario can also dress up in different costumes and hats to blend in or open new world locations. I went a little bit back and forth on which open world games I was going to have on my Nintendo Switch travel list, and as well as Hogwarts Legacy, I chose Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection.
Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Nintendo Switch is an exceptional choice for travelers. Blending expansive open world gameplay with the portability of the Switch console. The game's rich, immersive world invites players to explore the golden age of piracy. The original game was made for the 7th generation of consoles and isn't super optimized for the Switch, but it still runs and looks good enough. Whether waiting at an airport or relaxing in a hotel, the game's captivating story and numerous side quests provide hours of entertainment, making it ideal for travel, whether I have a few minutes or several hours to spare. Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Mario Kart! Hey! The final Nintendo Switch game that's always with me when I travel is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game is very good for travel. There is a lot of single player content, and even more if you add the booster course pack, like getting first place in all the cups and perfecting the time in time trials. But it's also a great game to play online, Or if you travel with someone and want to play together, there is nothing that beats the extreme fun of local multiplayer in Mario Kart. And since the Switch comes with two controllers built in, it's super easy to do on travels. So these are the 6 Nintendo Switch games that I always bring with me when I travel. What do you guys think? What games do you always bring with you when you travel with your Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comments. I'm Gamer4Fun and I will see you in my next video.